Frank Phillips was a good kid up against some bad luck. We have a problem, Francis. Frank. What? Nothing. And when a simple misunderstanding became a complicated mess... I want my bird. My bird is gone, and you know where it is. Maybe it flew out the window. Frank found himself in the hot seat. Breaking and entering, attempt to deceive, malicious mischief, theft. At the very least, he should be placed in state custody. Francis is a good boy. You don't know. But all he really needed was a point in the right direction. Francis will be supervised by our community work service program, caretaker at the animal shelter. Now, with a lot of help from his new friends and the father figure he never well, had. You know what? You do have a touch. Frank Phillips will get another chance to experience the joy of being needed, the pain of loss. What's going on? Room 40. It's the toughest part of what I gotta do. Just because a cat scratches the furniture seems like a really dumb reason to kill it. We got more animals here than we can properly care for. The only humane thing to do is to put them to sleep. And he'll learn one of life's most important lessons. Help someone else. Sometimes the person you save may be you. You did it, right? The Goodbye Bird. A heartwarming story of courage and friendship to set the spirits soaring. Your own shelter. In the spirit of Free Willy and other timeless family classics such as The Black Stallion, Born Free, and The Yearling, comes The Goodbye Bird. An inspirational story the entire family will embrace. Starring Wayne Rogers, Cindy Pickett, Conchita Tomei, and introducing Christopher Pettit. The Goodbye Bird exclusively from World Vision Home Video. the story of a maid named Snow White and of how the good dwarves tried to hide her from sight. And who can forget how that wicked queen, the great, gave Snow White the apple to cause eternal sleep. Poison is strong, but love stronger still. One day came a prince riding over the hill. With love in his heart, he reached out his hand. His touch woke Snow White and brought joy to the land. What follows now? A wedding. Well, then, let all the dwarves be our seven best men. Good. <laughs> Look, they rode into the sunset and threw green clover. But that isn't the end. No, our story's not over. So for those of you who feel perplexed and want to know what happens next, we are proud to present, for your fun and delight, the continuing story of the Prince and Snow White. Who 
Now, this is what I call a party. No more evil queen. That old hag won't be pushing us around no more, bats out. Gee, that's not a very nice thing to call her. <laughs> some kind of bird brain or something. These are the happiest days of our lives. <laughs> I can't help it, Scow. I still feel sorry for the poor wicked queen. Sorry? You're a bat! You're supposed to be bad! Bad? Yeah! Mean, ruthless, cruel, rotten to the core. <laughs> like me. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. <laughs> What's going on here? Do you invite him? supposed to tell fibs she did go out for a walk yeah but you didn't say when <gasps> ah my sister's magic looking glass it'll tell me what i want to know looking glass upon the wall at my command you will show me all no. Oh. Keep it down, you noisy creep. You're ruining my beauty sleep. How dare you! <laughs> Do your worst. As you can see, your magic casts no spell on me. <laughs> Is that so? If you don't show me what happened to my sister, I'll break you into a thousand pieces! Oh, uh, th that might be a different story. I'll show you all, but you'll be sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, whatever. When water flows as though it's bled, and sky does change from blue to red, it's a sign to all the queen is dead. But I scared myself. No, it can't be. How did this happen? Is the news. Your jealous sister met a plight, trying to harm the fair Snow White. No white? And who's the pretty boy she's with? Ah, uh, that'd be the prince, your lordship. Snow White and her prince. Aren't they the happy couple? From this day forward, I shall rule this castle and all that is in it. I will control the laws of nature and bend them to my will. Prince. 
shall pay for what has happened to my sister. Listen, kid, I think you should know Bad like me is the way to go Being nice is just for sex Being good is a handicap bad. I'm bad, see? So bad. You gotta be bad like me He's flying home from With a mean and nasty frown He's bad Commitment to be thoroughly bad. I want to tell you about the fun I've had. I've come this far, just one rule. Get to them before they get to you. Bad, yeah. Bad, so bad. I'm a dirty He's birdie. Flying home with a mean and nasty frown. He's bad, I fly in the so fast bad. lane, see? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Come on, Bato. Where are we going? To help Lord Malice get Snow White. We gotta get back on his good side. Uh, which side is that? Bato, we're gonna show him we can be really bad. <laughs> I can't wait to see them again. <laughs> oh, me neither. If it weren't for the seven dwarfs, I never would have found you. Do you think it's silly to ride all this way just to invite them to the wedding? Not if it makes you happy. Look at those flowers. Oh, I'd love to pick some for the dwarfs. Go ahead. Is it safe to stop here? Don't worry, Snow White. There's nothing to be afraid of. With the Wicked Queen gone, who would harm us? Ready, Bato? Well, I... I think so. I want you to be a vicious, heartless fighting machine. The very baddest there is. <laughs> Would you settle for just one of the top ten?
Watch this. I'll get her from behind. seen such magic as this. Who are you? What do you want? I'll find your Snow White. You can be sure of that. And I have a very special fate in store for you. <laughs> very special indeed. It's the cottage of the seven dwarfs. Hello? Hello? Where are you? I'm so thirsty. I hope you won't mind. Why, you're not the 
seven dwarfs? I should say not. But... but the seven dwarfs live in that cottage. Not anymore. They opened up a new mine way over in the next kingdom. Oh, but then who are you? We're their cousins, the seven dwarf elves. They gave us their cottage. <laughs> it's no use. I just can't get it right. Come on. Come on. your names. I'm Muddy. I'm in charge of the Earth itself, while Sunburn is merely in charge of the sunlight. Merely? She's in charge of all the plants and flowers. A pleasure, darling.
And that's Marina. Hello there. I'm in charge of all the lakes and rivers. I'm Critterina. I take care of all the animals in the forest. Moonbeam's in charge of the night. She's not herself during the day. And who's the one who sang the lovely song? That's Thunderella. Mother Nature's called her up for review. That's never happened before. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Snow White. Snow White? Our cousins told us all about you. You and the prince were to be married. We were coming to invite the seven dwarfs to the wedding, but something terrible happened. I was attacked and carried off by a horrid bird. Didn't the prince come to your rescue? Oh, he tried. Isn't that what a prince is for? We were separated, and now I'm afraid something horrible has happened to him. <gasps> I've just got to find him. There must be something we can do. I've got it. Come with us to see Mother Nature. She'll help find the prince. Mother Nature? I hope she can. Looking glass upon the wall. At my command, you will show me all. All the world up. I know that cottage. <laughs> Those infernal seven dwarfs live there. No longer do the dwarves there dwell. Seems in their stead live seven dwarf elves. Dwarf elves, eh? <laughs> Useless little fools. <laughs> Snow White? Show me where they're headed. Rainbow Falls. This time, Snow White won't be so lucky. And that bird brain scowl better not get in my way again. Scowl? Scowl! Where are you? If I ever see that owl again, there'll be nothing left but a pile of feathers. Why didn't we tell Lord Malice where we were? Oh, did you hear what he said? <laughs> He's gonna tear us apart! But he didn't say anything about tearing me apart. Ow! Come on, Basil! Now what are we gonna do? Just what you'd expect from two guys as bad as us. Yeah? What's that? We're gonna... Hide. Cinderella? Mm -hmm. I can't do anything right. The others are all so special and bloody smart and sunburns brave and strong and oh, blossoms so pretty. You're special too. You are. Everyone is in their own way. <laughs> Not me, except for making mistakes all the time. Just keep doing your best and being yourself. We're almost Mother Nature's garden. 
I'm sure it won't be as bad as you think. Yeah, she's right. It'll probably be much worse. <laughs> oh, that really burns me up. Take a little sunshine, sprinkle some rain, mix it at the right time, then do it again. Mother Nature has so many things to do. It takes a lot of concentration, just the right combination. And with a little alteration, I make my creation. <laughs> That's Mother Nature? Oh, my. Madam doesn't like to be disturbed when she's working. But I need her help. She won't be kindly disposed to helping anyone who interrupts her. Who are you, anyway? One of the hired help, just like you. And just who are you calling hired? Take a couple feathers, a squawk, and a nest. Put it all together and hope for the best. Mother Nature has so many things to do. It takes a lot of concentration. And just the right combination. And with a little alteration, I make my creation. Oh, you better believe it. What on earth is that? Oh, she's botched it up again. But I know what she was trying to make. Of course, I wouldn't expect the likes of you to figure it out. I know. She was trying to make a catfish. Oh. Must be beginner's luck. <laughs> Dear me, you won't do it all. Oh, let's see, a dash of this. Mm hmm. A pinch of that. Maybe this will work. Oh, I hope I haven't goofed again. Bet you can't guess that one. Is it a horsefly? <laughs> Have you played this before? <laughs> What about this, smart attic? A bullfrog! Right on, buddy! I know! I know! It's a cape rat! Oh. <laughs> it's a door now, silly! And with a little alteration, I make my creation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're here. Good. All seven of you. <laughs> and who might you be, young lady? I'm Snow White. The dwarf elves said you might help me. Oh, they did, did they? Well, I'll get to you in a minute. First, I have some business with them. Will the negligent party step forward? Is that me? <laughs> Undo precipitation whenever conditions were appropriate. Injudicious use of anemometry. Inadequate comprehension of climatology. Does that cover it? And not only that, I can't control the weather. That's precisely what I said. <laughs> uh oh, I never should have let the lot of you have such powers. See, I told you she'd take away Thunderella's powers. <gasps> A lot of us? But Mother Nature! Oh, don't think I haven't noticed all your squabbling, using earthquakes and sunbeams at your every whim. That's not what I gave you your powers for. You were supposed to work together to help me when I can't be there to create harmony. Oh. So you see, that's why we cannot tolerate mistakes in this line of work. What about all the mistakes you make? 
I beg your pardon. Begging your pardon? But even you make mistakes. Oh, little ones here and there. Don't you see? If everyone would just give Thunderella a chance, I'm sure she could do her job. I'm sorry, young lady. My decision is final. The dwarf fells shall be stripped of their powers. <laughs> <laughs> She can't even make a proper dormouse. How's she gonna? Oh. Oh. Stand back, woman! This is none of your affair! Don't worry! He can't harm us here. Now be gone, before I get mad. Don't you want to know what happened to your precious prince? Oh, please. Yes. <laughs> I thought so. The answer lies in my castle in the realm of doom. And not even Mother Nature can stop me there. <laughs> Unbelievable, my dear. He was wearing last year's cape. Oh, dear. The uncivilized brute. Don't you worry. You'll be safe if you stay with us. Mother Nature will protect you. No. I must go to the Realm of Doom. No, you mustn't. No, you'd never come back. You're certain you want to do this? I must find my prince. Well, it won't be easy. Could the seven dwarf elves come with me? Yeah! You want them? <gasps> Very well. You miscreants have one last chance to prove yourselves competent beneficiaries of the powers with which I've endowed you. Lord Malice is very powerful. In his own domain, even I cannot stop him. Above all else, Snow White, you must keep your wits about you. Thank you, Mother Nature. Oh, there you are, you naughty little creation. <laughs> now go. Follow the path past the Seven Pines and over the Seven Peaks. The path leads through a cave and into the realm of doom. But remember, the closer you get to your destination, the more dangerous your journey will become. Come. I tell you, darlings, it looks awfully dark in there. We need light. Sunbird, can you help us? They don't call me sunburn for nothing.
No, don't! I bet he works for Lord Malice. What are you trying to tell us? Something good happened on this trip. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! That poor little man. If only I could have helped him. Ooh, he gave me the willies. I hope he got free. Quick! Quick, look! to the realm of doom. Maybe this very minute, the prince is watching us from one of those castle windows. <laughs> Perfect! Soon I shall have my revenge! It seems she falls in the trap of malice, but in this fog, <laughs> she ain't gonna find the palace. <laughs> you are <laughs> but you do have a point. We wouldn't want her to lose her way. <laughs> Perhaps I will provide an escort. <laughs> want bad food. I thought you said he'd never find... I have a little task for you, my pet. You will bring Snow White to me. Do what you like with those idiot dwarf elves, but do not harm Snow White. I want that pleasure myself. Now go! Quickly! Fancy running into you down here. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. Now there will be something to amuse me while I await Snow White. Ooh. Boy. <laughs> I bet Scow will really have fun. Nature wouldn't like that. I don't think these are Mother Nature's creatures, Critterina. That's right. This place ain't natural. Oh. <laughs> 
I think I have to give this place a facelift. Oh, my goodness. I don't think your powers are going to be much help here. Cinderella. Cinderella, what is it? I heard something out there. I don't hear anything. Shh. Listen. That's us. Cinderella! Stay back. I'm warning you. One and a two and a three. Boom, beam. Boom, beam. Morning, Gritterina. <gasps> oh! Gritterina, tell him to get out of here. Oh! <laughs> What did they say? I didn't get all of it. Something about dwarf elves and... Oh. Dessert. Oh. This way. Him. It's our only hope. Come on. A charmed life! Well, no more. I'll handle this personally. <laughs> Not that it hasn't been a barrel of laughs at all. But... <laughs> wait, 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 wait! What about me? Aren't you gonna? Uh, uh, uh. Hey! Lord Malice! Come back! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
saved us from the wolves. And back in the cave, you were trying to warn us about something. It's almost as though you've, you've been watching over me, caring for me like, like a friend. I better get back to the others. Won't you come with me? That is, if you want to, please come. anything to say about it. Come on! Oh! That ding dumb bat! Oh! I try to help him! I try to teach him what I know! This is where it gets me! It ain't fair. Wow, you look real bad. <laughs> Bats. Hey, Scal, you really gotta quit smoking. It's gonna kill you. I'm about to be Owl Stew, and he's worried about smoking. Bats, Qu quick! Shake your wing! Okay. No! Blow out the candle! Oh, sure thing, Scal. What are you waiting for? I can't decide what to wish for. Blow it out! <laughs> now! We gotta get out of here. Come on, Vato. As far away from Lord Malice as we can get. Oh, too bad we can't stay for the party. Party? <laughs> oh, those are the seven dwarf elves. Now what? How do we get in? Hey, hey somebody hey. let us in. in! We're here on official business of Mother Nature. Come on, Batu. This is our big chance. Lord Malice will have to forgive us if we capture one of them. You always have such bad ideas. Oh, God, oh, you'll be sorry! Get the loud mouth! I'm warning you! When I lose my temper, I really get carried away! How does it feel to be really bad? You feel bad. Oh, this burns me up. Let go of me, you little creep. You mean him? Yeah! 
Snow White. Snow White, wake up. My prince? Is, is it really you? Who else would it be? <laughs> Quickly, we must hide. But where are... No time for questions. Secret door. <laughs> Wonderful! A looking glass that talks! Beneath the queen, huh? <laughs> no way. See? It's a trick. It's not here. Not here either. <laughs> Secret tower! Hooray! Well, how do you like that? Thank you, my darling, darling. Darling, darling. <laughs> I like it. Now you're cooking. I'm through with malice. You're better looking. <laughs> Come on, girls! Talking looking glasses, tricky queens, secret doors. This place burns me up. Hey! Oh. Where are you taking me? Please, can't we go home? Oh, we are going home, Snow White. I don't understand. You will. Oh, I've never seen you like this. Please, tell me where you're taking me. What's wrong, my dear? Don't you trust your beloved prince? on this forever. Wh what are you talking about? Look. <laughs> You're not my prince. <laughs> You'll never see your prince again! Oh. <laughs> You're cold, Snow White. Let me give you my cloak. Oh! 
It's stone! The cape turned it to stone! Come on! You miserable wretch! You'll stand here forever, cast in stone! <laughs> don't you dare! No! 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 is the prince and now I've lost them both <laughs> just as love brings the greatest joy it can also bring the greatest sorrow but then it is love which makes people the most special of all my creatures <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Malice cast a spell on me, but I swore I'd never stop trying to protect you. Oh, I can't believe it's true. This time, Snow White, I'll never leave your side. If it weren't for your help, I never would have seen my prince again. Well, some of us were a little more helpful than others. Honestly, Sunbird, must you take all the credit? Not me. Thunderoa! You really came through. We better be going. We'll be late for a certain wedding. I want all of you to come. Oh, and seven dwarfs, too. Is it all right, Mother Nature? Can we go to Snow White's wedding? Very well, but when you return, you're gonna have to face the music. But you mean even after we... You're not still going to... Take away their powers? <laughs> Gracious, no. They've proven themselves. When they return, they'll get right back to their old jobs. <laughs> and we will have two new apprentices to train. <laughs> Please. You know, Batso, maybe working for this Ma Nature ain't gonna be so bad. I can even smell again. Well, with your cigar, you always smell. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to live happily ever after? Now you can have Snow White and the Prince along with all the lovable dwarf elves with you all day long. Make your own magic with Moonbeam. Here we go again. Sunburn. <laughs> Thunderella. <laughs> Marina. Hello there. Muddy. Critterina. <laughs> and Blossom. A pleasure, darling. Available now. You can do magic with your own two hands. Every morning, rain or shine, Ben Crawford shoots hoops. It makes him feel better. I try not to hit the garage door. Hit pugs and neighbors. Eating a Chiquita banana every morning with some coaching from Mom also makes him feel better. It's vitamin C and potassium help him give the day his best shot. Maybe one day, they'll name a sneaker after me. Yes. Chiquita bananas, quite possibly the world's perfect food.
With your own two hands, you can touch the clouds right where you stand. You can see rainbows every place you turn. Deep in the night, a place is burned. Total original, you're one of a kind. You've got the heart and you've got the mind. No, it won't be easy, but you give it a try. 